Welcome back to the farm. Uh, we're going to try something a little different today. Since we have three tractors, I'm going to try using all three at once. Uh, let's get in this one. It's uh, harvest time again already. So what I'm going to try to do is get all three tractors running on their own. I don't know if it's going to work very well, but we're going to try. I already set up courses for each of the tools. So we'll see if I can make them run the courses without interfering with each other because they have a uh, tendency to get in each other's way. Do, 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 do. That actually functional. Mo, yes. Hey, there's the start point. So we'll get this one mowing and then we'll uh, get the, the next one wind rowing. Okay. Oh, nope. See, I messed up already. That should be first waypoint. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. And he's off. Alright, that looks good enough. So, we're going to have to wait for him to go around... I think at least one full turn before we get the wind rower actually going. Since the wind rower is so much wider than the mower is, obviously. But I've got it set up so that they'll basically loop the whole thing until they get to the middle and then do a couple up and down just to clean up the very middle of it. So it'll, we should get them running in like a racetrack right around each other, spiraling in. It'll be very neat to see if I if it actually works right. Which I'm hoping it does. I don't know, I set up the courses, but of course I didn't test them or anything. This is the test. It is only a test. I did adjust the... Um... Let me just turn this off for a second. So I adjusted the, uh, what do you call it, the cruise control. Because when you hire a helper to do a task, the max speed that the helper will go is whatever you have set for the cruise control. So I have the cruise control for the mower set as fast as the mower will go. And then the cruise control for the wind rower is set lower than that. So it'll go slower. So hopefully it won't catch up to the mower. And that'll let the mower get ahead of it. And then the cruise control for the baler is set even slower than the wind rower. Um, yeah, and I think it'll work right. I'm going to get try to get all three of them going at once. This mower is not quite as wide. Like, this might work better once we get the next mowers and we can mow a much wider swath. But that'll just be the mower and then the baler. Because we won't need to windrow at that point. I'm going to let this guy go around one more time. Because I just want to make sure that he's well ahead of the windrower. Yeah. But while we're doing that, we can get the, the baler set up. To do with our new tractor. And then, uh, yeah, and then once it's all bailed, we'll just go through and use the, the bale trailer to pick up the bales. And then we'll get somebody on the grasser and get that taken care of. Why do I have lines? I don't know what that was from. Okay, so this one I'm going to load this one. So clear current, load course, this one. Okay, so that one's ready to go. 
I don't think I did that on this. No, I didn't. So this will also be the windrow slash bell course. Windrow bell, first waypoint. Okay, perfect. This guy's done with this. Where's our first point? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Get this pulled around and get this one going, and then the baler can go fairly, fairly quickly behind this one. But they've all got relatively the same. They might cluster up once we get to the center, but for the beginning here, it should be neat. We're going to check it out. And this one, let's make sure that automatic drop is on. Yes, automatic drops on. We're at 125 centimeter bales again. Let's unfold that baler. There it goes. And this will start the same course that one's doing. I have a feeling they're going to catch up to that mower. There we go. And then what we're going to do is one of these. We're going to go right up here and watch them work. See, where's a good, good position? I want to see basically the whole field. There we go. All right, so we're going to watch them work. I'll go ahead and time lapse this and I'll bring you back if something gets messed up and I need to go fix it. Well, while not perfect, it certainly has worked out better than I had hoped. I think if we'd let that mower go around one or two more times first, it would have worked out even better. Let me get out of your way. Let's start this wind rower back here. I'll restart it. Nearest waypoint. There we go. Good start from right here. And that'll clean this corner up. Let's go to this one. Get you out of the way. We'll go start that in the same spot. And hopefully that'll let that mower get well ahead enough of them. And then we'll just clean up these corners afterward. here then we go nearest waypoint right there all right let's go back to watching them do, 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 do. zoom into here all right time lapse again Shoot, no. There is a bale in the way. All right. Mm. 
Let's bring it over to where it stopped. Where we, uh, actually. Right, let's start it again. Right here on this corner. Hopefully there won't be any bales in our way from here. Yeah, there shouldn't be because the uh, baler hasn't picked this up yet. Do, 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 do. Go. We'll do the same thing with this. And yeah, we'll clean up these edges afterward. Give this just a minute. Let him get down to that corner. That's probably far enough, right? Yeah. Alright, now we'll try to go watch him again. Alright, time lapse the last of this. Okay, we've run into obstacles again. I think it's time to turn these guys off. Oh, he's actually still moving. Let's pause this one. We'll let the, uh, the mower finish up. That's actually, we'll just be the mower. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna finish this up quick, and then uh, we'll set the wind rower running again. I'll time lapse this, and see you in a minute. Yeah, even though I had to go messing about here at the end to get the rest of the field cleaned up, I still think I'm going to call that a success. It, it worked better <laughs> than I had anticipated. And uh, I still think it saved time over doing all the steps uh, myself. Plus, we got the cool view of getting to watch them from overhead. Uh, so all of that adds into it. I think that was a rousing success. Not perfect by any means. I think it would have been a little better had we let the, the uh, mower go for a little longer before starting the wind rower. I think that would have helped. Um, but, yeah, stay love you. So now I'll get these picked up and then uh, I'll get the grass or going and i think we're going to do an overhead view for the grass or two and see if how well the the helper will 
happy with that task. Let's see, crank this right around here. Look at all our little yellow marshmallows. The cheese harvest has come in. I think once we get the new mowers, we will, uh, I'll try to set that up again with the new mowers and the baler and see how well that works. Should hopefully work even better because if we run them on the same track, um, as long as the baler is going slower than the mowers are, and I set it up like this where they didn't have to stop and back and turn around and stop and back and turn around. Uh, it should keep the baler from catching up to the mowers and should work out all right. We'll certainly find out next time. It's probably what the next episode's going to be. 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, we ended up with 19 bales again. Apparently that's exactly the yield off of this. No better, no worse. So we got these two, and then we'll go park this. Loop. And one more. Put that away. We'll just park this over here. And that'll work for that. We'll put this tractor away. We'll get going with the grasser. Yeah, it'll be fine on that. That tractor should work fine for it. There goes the new tractor. And let's see how well this works. Go with Clear You Load Course Dresser. First waypoint. Let's see where that is. Right there. Alright. You get to go in. And we're gonna do the thing. Uh, we'll go down to the end again. That seemed to be in alright position. Let us see the whole field. Alright, I will uh, time lapse this and see you when the grass is done.
Okay, and that's the field work done. So I'm gonna go park this. And uh, I think that's all we're gonna do today. Next time we'll sell this silage and hopefully buy uh, our new mowers. And then after that, it'll be a matter of saving up money for land. And then shortly after we buy a new piece of property, there is another machine that I want to buy to help us with the logging, but it's not like a traditional logging machine. But we'll see how that goes once we get to that point. But yeah, I think overall today worked out pretty well for uh, being an experiment. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.